Oh, I remember the day when Joshua Graham was destroyed by one ant that's kind of a jerk. And if you don't know what that means, well, it's just an inside joke on my channel's polls. Today, we're gonna test Joshua Graham's against giant soldier queens. And on this experiment, there's three things that we want to understand. Can one ant that's kind of a jerk destroy Joshua? No. Unfortunately not. Which leads us to, well, then how many will it take? And just out of personal curiosity, since I can spawn both the burned and non-burned versions, well, let's see who's the strongest. So we'll have the burned man against these bad boys until they win. And just one quick explanation. The T-Detect means that no one will attack me until I get far away and enable it again. And if you'll be paying attention, you might see that I've chosen a take out of two sometimes. Well, I can guarantee you that it was the best view and not show the outcome I want. After all, it's an experiment and I'm curious too. And it's now Joshua versus four giant and queens. And he's still not struggling, like at all. The last ant left has no chance. There we go, let's see how well he's doing. Incredibly amazing. Will we need to get to double digits? And can the non-burned version do better? Let's have the burned man show us how much he can take, and then we'll see how the Malpe Legate will do against the same amount. If he dies, we'll lower it until he wins. And if he doesn't, we'll just keep going. And let's see. Oh, against five, he's starting to have trouble. Well, let's try six then. There's also something else in my mind, and that is the position of the ants. If they are too far, then Joshua has a massive advantage. And if they are too close, they're still not able to stagger him enough. In fact, there's also a deleted take where... The ants just seemed completely lost. So let's retry this one, but now they're all swarming him. Six versus one. Because this one was just too close for me to ignore, and I want to see the lowest amount... Well, the lowest number of ants that it will take. Because if I wanted to see how many he could get, then I would just be placing them even further. So can six ants of the giant queen persuasion take care of him? They can. Holy. Now, I know you've only seen five, but this one is against five. And I know you're only seeing four. You can look at the console commands that I have show up. In fact, yeah, right before I said that, there was a shadow showing the fifth off screen, just doing its thing. So Joshua cannot take six swarming it, but he's done with these four, there's the fifth. Let's see. Who wins on a one versus one? For sure it's gonna be him. There we go. Now we know. Six is the minimum ants that will take. So now let's see the other variant. The pre-first battle of Hoover Dam. Pre-disappointing Baldi. <laughs> Baldi. Baldi. Our boy, Edward. Well, not our boy, our enemy. Still, can non-burn Joshua take care of five giant ant queens? Oh, no. No, he can't. So wait, is he not a reskin? Because I can tell you, their inventory is the same, so I thought their stats and power would be as well. Can he take four of them? Ah, you can do this. Oh no, he cannot! Really? Is he that weak? I mean, he's still strong, but... Anyways, let's see against three. Come on, man, you got this. Honestly, it's an embarrassment if you can only do half. But if even that's too much for you, then oh boy, he did it. But that would have been a humiliation if he couldn't. And there we go for our experiment, but I still have a little something for you. Oh, the game crashed trying to spawn 20 Joshua's. Well, let's spawn 100. But the results are in. 
and six giant ant queens are enough to take care of Joshua Graham. Not always, though. Oh, it crashed again. Uh, however, the other Joshua that we can spawn in, and that's probably just in a random cell we can never meet, he's uh, much, much weaker. I mean, sure, this one's the badass, but this is the one that's in pain. They're both the one that fumbled the first war of Hoover Dam. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have an idea for a fun experiment like this. I've got some Fallout 4 fights arena style planned out, and we'll see what else comes along. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I'll see you on the next one. And I hope you have a good one. Oh, it crashed again. Well, bye.